Am I good? You're good. I'm live? Everybody, welcome to One Girl's Rant. It's Friday, and Friday is not just our favorite day of the week. It's also the day where we take a minute to celebrate the cool humans who are roaming this planet with us. Today on One Girl's Rant, I want to talk to you about a pet peeve of mine, and that is there are an awful lot of people who do not know how to give a good compliment and who do not know how to issue a proper censure. In case you need a refresher, a censure is the proper way of informing a politician that they suck. There are three tenets to a good compliment. First of all, be sincere. Compliments are already free, but there's no reason for you to make them cheap. Two, be specific. Hearing someone say, good job, is not the same as having someone say, oh my goodness, your cloaca produced a beautiful egg today. See how that's specific? Three, stay in control. Do not let your emotions overcome you when you're issuing your compliment. Oh my goodness, I love your haircut. No, seriously, that's adorable. It makes me want to be you. Thanks. When you are ready to issue your compliment, have an open posture, take on a pleasant tone, and go for it. So let's try it with some of the cool people I met this week. My first compliment goes to Gage Carlu, a homeschooler from Tennessee. Hi Gage, I thought the article that you wrote last week on your blog was excellent. As any human who is owned by a chicken knows, moving chickens from point A to point B can be fraught with great difficulty. Gage, I would just like to note that I too was homeschooled. And if you will pardon my impertinence, we certainly are an articulate bunch, aren't we? We're brilliant. Gage, I've posted your link below so the other subscribers can read your article too. Keep writing. You see, that's how you give a compliment. Let's do another one just to make sure we've got it. This compliment goes to Holly from the Backyard Chicken Lady blog. Holly, your post last week about evacuating nine chickens, three cats, two dogs, two grandchildren, and one husband, all in less than 30 minutes, was riveting. I was literally sucked into your blog for hours. I put Holly's link below. Go, read, do yourself a favor, subscribe. Now on the topic of censures. Censures follow the same principles as a compliment. When you're ready to give a censure, square your shoulders, be direct, and speak honestly. Dear checkout person at every store I have ever shopped at, when you hand me my receipt saying, here you go, is not a suitable substitution for saying, thank you, have a nice day. Do you see how I did that? I stuck to the facts and I did not allow my emotion to dictate what my message would be. Okay, let's try one more. Dear President Barack Obama, when you campaigned to become President of the United States of America, you promised that you would champion GMO labeling. But instead of supporting the overwhelming majority of Americans who want to know what's in our food, you have colluded with the biotech industry to keep the American people in the dark. And on March 26, 2013, you signed into law a bill that grants large biotech companies like Monsanto judiciary exemption if their products cause us harm. You lied. You see what I did there? I kept my shoulders square and I didn't drag out all the other grievances I'm holding against him, like how he trots his wife out onto the White House lawn into her victory garden while he's throwing regular people like me under the GMO bus. So that's the proper way to give a compliment and issue a censure. I challenge you this week to go out and find somebody to give a compliment to. And if your senator is one of the 71 who voted down the GMO labeling legislation, I challenge you to issue him or her and the president a proper censure according to the tenets that you have learned on this vlog today. And in order to assist you, I have posted the 71 no votes below. If you like this video? Subscribe and keep posting awesome humans in the comments below.